Hey YouTube, Commander Tech here, and I got the final uh, mobile notifier update. This is going to be the final release, but it is the uh, update that I will use. I haven't used uh, this tweet in the past because it was lacking some features, but it is now here. It works. I'm using it on the latest uh, firmware, iOS 4.3.3, and it works great. So. The reason why I'm going to have this is not because it, of the looks, it's because it works. And the iOS notify system, whatever you want to call it, the current notification system sucks. If you're playing Angry Birds, you're in the middle of the game, or if you're watching a movie right before an action scene, you get a text or a different notification, you have to... Uh, close that ta uh, that notification or view it or reply if it's a text you gotta close the reply it is a pain so I'm gonna show you some examples of what this does so say I'm watching a movie okay so I'm gonna send myself a text uh, right now so right now I'm watching a video and I'm gonna send a text right here and this is with the mobile notifier. So you see I got a text. My, my video is still playing and everything. If I do want to reply to this, I can. But let's just not uh, touch it and see what happens. Let's turn it on its side just for a sec. You see it, it just went away. I, I didn't have to stop the video or anything. It just went away. Alright, I just sent myself another text. So here we go, I just got a text, so I can tap that, and here's the in notifier uh, quick reply. So I tap that, and now I have the option to reply. I see the message that I will be replying to, so I can say, hey back, alright? Send that, and there we go. So I just sent a text, uh, notification is gone, it sent done and forget. I'm just going to send myself another text. So in a second we'll just get another text right here. And there we go. So I can tap that once again. Uh, if I click this button right here, this is a new button, it goes to your messaging. If I don't want to reply to this, or I want to reply it to it later, I'll just click that. And when I go to my multitasking bar, just double tap, there's all my notifications. So I can clear each one off, or I can just clear all, and there we go. Alright, so I just sent myself another text. Let's go to my lock screen and see what happens. So, as you heard, I got a text. And you can see it is a normal notification uh, since I have that settings that way. So, I don't have to X anything out. It's just right there. Um, so, if my phone uh, was a password lock and I don't want people reading my text, uh, they can't. So let me just go on right now. I did take off the passcode. So let's just go back on and put lock screen view on. I'll send myself another text one sec. So there we go. I just sent another text. And uh, there we go. So now it has uh, missed notifications. I can select and I see the text that I received. So, you still can't tap these and reply, but because since this is your lock screen, but now you can see what it is, and then you have the option if you want to slide to unlock and then uh, view or whatnot. So, Mobile Notifier is a notification system that works. This is something that I want to see in iOS 5, and I know that uh, they will address the uh, notification system in iOS 5 and we'll see how that turns out but right now till iOS 5 comes out I will be using mobile notifier because it works uh, whenever I'm playing the 
Angry Birds or video or whatever I'm doing. Like, I won't have to stop what I'm doing to view that notification. So, once again, Mobile Notifier, this is a free tweet. Uh, just go on the Peter repo right there. The l repo will be right here. And it will also be in the description below. So, for more tips, tricks, uh, products, reviews, and everything like that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if you like this video, uh, just hit the like button down here. Any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down below. Commander Tech, signing out.